Let's talk about our Coachella Valley from lifestyle, beauty, food, fun, and much more. This is Desert Chat with your host, Sandy Newton. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Desert Chat. I'm Sandy Newton. Thanks so much for joining us. You know, each week we meet all the great people and businesses and nonprofits from around our valley and from around our table. First up, well, as we wrap up this month of August, lots is still going on, right? <laughs> there is never a lack of exciting activities in our beautiful oasis. And now that the school year has officially started, our young people are beginning their new academic experiences. So let's acknowledge and celebrate this month's students making good choices and doing the right thing. Let's meet this month's winners. Well, Mr. Clark, here we are. It is August, schools are in session, and you know what? This has become such an incredibly important and successful initiative, and we couldn't have done it without no, you. Th thank you. <laughs> thank you, Terry. This is an amazing program. I know it's doing great things for the community, for the kids, and it reminds me of the quote we've heard recently from Martin Luther King. It's always the right time to do the right thing. Oh, and I, love I think that. we are applying that principle here and it's doing good things for the community. It but really, thank you for what you do. Well, really. thank you. You know, personally, I know that you do so much for our community. There's enormous outreach that you provide. And tell me how special it is knowing that young students are really being motivated by these honors. Just being here gives me the chills sometimes to yes. hear their stories. Yeah, I think it's, uh, it's not just touching, it is uh, invigorating for all of us to see these stories and I'm glad that we can recognize their success. Well, as I said, we couldn't do it without you, of mm -hmm. course, Dr. Carrie Tanover and, of course, Chief Mills, mm -hmm. but you are really behind it so much from the beginning and we're grateful. And uh, shall we start the awards? Yes. Let's do it. Let's do the right thing. <laughs> Thanks. Damien is pure magic on the stage when he performs in rallies. But his magic does not stay on the stage with him. He spreads his magic to everyone around him. He shines the light on others and is always looking for ways to make sure every student, every staff, and every faculty member is seen, heard, loved, and celebrated. Thank you, Damien, for being you and for reminding all of us by your example to do the right thing. Well, once again, great kids, you have proven that you know how to do, do the, the right, right thing. thing. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Great job, as always. Congratulations, kids. You are so special. And always, of course, a big thanks to our generous friend, Walter Clark, Dr. Ketover, Chief Mills, and all the amazing officers and great people who show up and support this excellent program every month. We are so proud and so happy to help shine a light on these great kids doing the right thing. Well, speaking of doing the right thing, taking good care of our health is always doing the right thing, right? It may still be the month of August, but seasonal flu season is right around the corner. And our friends at Desert Oasis Healthcare want us to know they've got us covered. Let's find out more. Welcome to Desert Chat, Lindsay. Thank you for having me. We love our friends at Desert Oasis Healthcare. Oh, and we love coming on tape. Thank you so much. Well, you always have the best and most current information. And speaking about current, let's talk about the fact that we are now thinking about seasonal flu vaccines. And in particular, you have a trivalent. That's correct. Yes, I know it's still warm outside, but <laughs> flu season is coming. Mm -hmm. This year, it's a trivalent vaccine. That mm -hmm. means three variants. Okay. In the past, we've had four. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a quadrivalent. But since March of 2020, one of those influenza B strains hasn't been seen. Oh. So they decided, let's focus on those strains that are likely to cause illness and just make a trivalent. 
Perfect, and you've already got that ready to go. That's all ready to go, and it's probably the best way to protect yourself against the flu and severe side effects from the flu. We really recommend all of our members come to us for free flu vaccines this year. And actually, all of our members who get a free flu vaccine will also get a free gift. Oh, that's nice. Yes. That's very nice. Yes. A little perk. little encouragement. <laughs> and you know, school has started. Yes. So what can we do to really help our students and young people stay healthy too? Yes, so I'm a mom. I have two mm -hmm. kids in school. I know how quickly illnesses spread throughout schools, mm -hmm. especially the flu. Uh, kids from six months and up can get the flu vaccine. We highly recommend that um, because when you protect those in the community with a flu vaccine that can be vaccinated, mm -hmm. you protect the small babies and the vulnerable parts of our population that maybe can't be vaccinated. That's so good. And in general, just keep a healthy kind of protocol, right? Absolutely, yes. Things like hand washing, avoiding big crowds, especially in the midst of respiratory season, mm -hmm. uh, wearing a mask if you know you haven't been feeling well, and generally staying home if you're sick. Great, and you have that great mobile unit. Yes, it has been such a blessing for us to have this mobile unit that will go out to the community. We have our vaccines, we do screenings, and make sure anywhere in the community our members are, we can take care of them and arm them with the tools like vaccines to keep them healthy. Thank you, well thank you for keeping us healthy for sure. <laughs> Where can our viewers get more information? You can go to our website at mydohc.com that has all the information. We even have links to areas that would be helpful like the CDC and community links. So visit Great. us there. Well, here's to a healthy season without the flu, hopefully. Yes. <laughs> Thanks so much. Thank you. Great information as always. Thanks so much, Lindsay. Don't go away when we come back. Well, are you thinking about improving your home? Well, Real Real Modeling has some great info they want to share. And our friends at Coachella Valley Rescue Mission join us with a very amazing update. <laughs> Stay with us. Welcome back to Desert Chat. Well, are you thinking of remodeling? You know, the weather is starting to cool down, so maybe you're looking at your home and you're thinking, hmm, I wonder if I could change that or maybe update that, right? <laughs> well, if you are thinking about it or maybe you are actually about to start the process of improving your home, then you need to hear from Real Remodeling. They have the best 411 on all things remodel. Let's find out more. Welcome to Desert Chat, Allie. Hi, thank you so much for having me. Well, we're so happy to talk about remodeling because you know what? Here in the desert, we love to remodel. So tell me how long Real Remodeling has been a business. Uh, well, we opened Real Remodeling Inc. back in 2015. And um, so that's been uh, over 20, well, we've been in business since 2004. So it's been wow. over 20 years, but we did open Real Remodeling Inc. Standalone company in 2015. Nice. And what is it that really you feel kind of sets you apart from your competitors? Uh, most important thing to me, I think, is that we're family owned and operated. Nice. So it's my husband and I, we own the company. Um, we've worked with the same crew since we started. My husband started the business back in 2004. Nice. Um, so I think that um, being family owned and operated, we're, we're able to pay more attention to our customers and give more detail and time to them. Yeah, and that customer service, I think, is so important, especially in remodeling. Yes. Because often timelines are different. Yeah. Um, so talk to me about your pricing and what how that is set apart and also your timelines. Well, we're very competitive with our pricings only because we are family owned and operated. So mm -hmm. we've kind of cut out the middlemen in those situations. We don't deal with salesmen. When we contact our customers, it's me behind the phone. I'm nice. the one who calls the customers, and we have that kind of close relationship. You'll meet directly with Vinny, the owner. So it's 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 a very um, in touch um, kind of relationship from the very beginning. Nice. And those timelines, as we know historically, sometimes don't always stack up. So how do you manage that? Um, well, depending on on, and it's depending on what type of job that you're going to be doing. I mean, there's projects that range from bathroom to kitchens and and you know bigger to smaller ones ADUs conversions and things like that but we do try to give an accurate timeline of depending on how big the, the job is it does depend on that but we do give a fair timeline based in business days and within a, an accurate timeline of a few days or so nice and you do it all from we the do. smallest to the largest yeah A to Z one-stop shop 
Well, customer service is so important, and I love that it's family run. So tell our viewers where they can get more information. Um, you can contact us directly. We have our local number here. It's 760-636-2441. You can also reach us on our toll-free number at 888-738-2111. And you can find us online at realremodel.com. Great. Well, we'll see you again. We'll talk about more of your great remodeling jobs. <laughs> Thanks, Allie. Thank you. Great information, thanks so much. You've given me a few ideas. Next up, our friends at Coachella Valley Rescue Mission have had an amazing amount of support for their Backpack Bonanza, which they wanna share with us, but they also have lots more going on and they need our help. Let's find out more. Welcome back to Desert Chat. Kristen, always love to see you. And thank you for having us. I love being here. Thank you. Well, we're so excited to hear that for your Backpack Bonanza, as school has now started, you hit your goal. Yes, we were able to give backpacks to 2,500 students oh. in the Coachella Valley. Not only that, but if we didn't have the support from our community that we did and our partners and our volunteers, we couldn't have made it happen. So it was a great outpouring from our donations to our individuals that were there to help us on the day. It was amazing. Oh my gosh, it gives me goosebumps because I know it always seems like a reach, you know, uh, even the weeks before yes. you get a little scared, but to know that everybody, our community, our wonderful community showed up helped you reach that goal, how exciting. Yes, they did. And now we have another goal coming up in October, Socktober. Yes, so <laughs> Socktober is coming up. One of the number one requested items for homelessness is socks. So right. every October we have our Socktober drive and we hope that our community gets out there right behind us again and helps us support by donating socks for all ages. And we're just a week away from September, so you'll start putting out the word. We'll start, I'll start reaching out to some of our community partners, verifying whether they want to do boxes or not, and letting them know the dates. But towards the end of September, usually the last week, is when we'll start delivering boxes, nice. and then have the boxes out all the month of October. And let's talk about the sizes, because we're not just talking about adult homeless, but of course there are children in need as well. Absolutely. So first and foremost, and the most need that we have are for adults. Mm -hmm. But you're right, we need for children. So we need for all sizes. Infant, uh, what are, what's the next size? So infant and then toddler, I guess. Yeah, right. And then kids. Right. So then, yeah, all, all of the sizes. But we definitely do need adults above... Uh, above anything else. That's right. the most important goal. Right, and then of course after October, we're talking Thanksgiving and that is one of your really premier, premier, not only needs, but really probably very rewarding for all of you. Absolutely, we have to um, get donations in so that we not only can help families celebrate on their own so they have a turkey dinner, but so that we can also serve our Thanksgiving dinner that we have and so we have a food drive that month, and then we roll right into December, which is our toy drive. <laughs> wow, you are busy, Kristen. Yes. God bless you for all you do and all the Coachella Valley Rescue Mission does, because really, wonderful nonprofit in our valley. Tell our viewers where they can get more information. All they have to do is visit us at www.cvrm.org or give me a call at 760-347-3512, extension 246, and ask for Kristen. Great, thanks so much. Congratulations on the Backpack Bonanza on this October. Thank you, <laughs> can't wait. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> Mm, that is so wonderful, Kristen. Thanks so much. We'll see you next month and the next month and the next month. Toys, food, supplies, we've got you covered. Thanks so much. Don't go away. When we come back, we visit our friends at Precision Wellness to find out about some great treatments and specials that they have going on so that you will look great and feel great. And the Oscars may still be months away, but it's always fun to talk about Hollywood's biggest night, right? <laughs> We're going to do that with award-winning journalist Dave Carger. Stay with us. Welcome back to Desert Chat. Well, how are you feeling? Are you looking great so that you can feel great? That's actually the philosophy and mission behind Precision Wellness. They are dedicated to making their clients look their best with their many treatments and services, which in turn will make them feel their best, right? Well, it makes sense. So we wanted to find out more by visiting their beautiful facility and Rancho Mirage. And a bonus, <laughs> we not only met their precious mascot, 
an adorable 11 week old French bulldog, who is also, by the way, employee of the month, I think every month. <laughs> but they are currently offering an amazing deal for all of us, so check it out. Hey, Chad. Hey, Sandy. How are you? I'm so good. Who is this? This is Osito. Hi, Osito. Oh, my gosh. Well, I'm so excited to see your treatment room and hear all about your treatments. So let's go. Come you on. Bet. Come on back. Well, Jed, this, first of all, is super comfy. What an amazing treatment room with great equipment. I can see it's state of the art, but I first want to talk about semaglutide because everybody is talking about it and you have an incredible program. Well, thank you. Yeah, it's been working very well. Um, it's well priced and it's very effective. So in order to get started, Jed, I understand there's a process with a doctor and a, and a nurse practitioner. Correct. So what somebody will do is they will fill out their medical history mm -hmm. and then they'll submit that. Then the nurse practitioner reviews it mm -hmm. and if they meet the criteria, then they'll be approved to be on the, on the uh, system. Wow, that is fantastic. And it's so popular and the results are amazing. The results have been excellent. Um, it does make a difference how much effort somebody puts into their their diet and their exercise. There's some, some specific things that our registered nurse will go over with them to make sure that they get the best results. Great, we'll talk about great results. These machines are so impressive. Just quickly tell me what each one of them does. Sure, so we have a suite of devices made by uh, a manufacturer, BTL, uh -huh. and BTL, the suite of devices, um, are really using your body's own systems to regenerate themselves. Wow. So um, everything is non-invasive mm -hmm. and highly effective. Wow, and this, I see a face on this one, so this is a... This is the M face. Okay, okay? So, so a facelift? <laughs> it's, it's effectively like a facelift. Mm -hmm. It has an applicator that will literally stick to your cheeks wow. and your forehead or your cheeks and your submentum or your chin area. Right? Um, a 20 minute treatment will do the equivalent of 70,000 um, pulses or, or contractions of specific muscles that help lift your face. Well, this is amazing. And what's more amazing is that you have a special deal going on. So tell our viewers how they can get more information. Excellent. Okay. Well, what we're doing is we're offering a single treatment, a full treatment uh -huh. on each of the devices at, at a very attractive price. Wow. So where shall they go for more information? Precision-wellness.com. Great. Well, Jed, you're a great example. You look fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> so if you're if you're a representative of what these machines do, I'm all in. <laughs> okay. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate so much. that. <laughs> That is an amazing deal. Thank you so much, Jed. And thanks so much also for introducing us to your sweet mascot. <laughs> Next up, we know Hollywood will start rolling out their big films for Oscar contention very soon. It'll be a race to the finish when the awards are handed out in March, which, by the way, you can watch right here on KESQ. But have you ever thought about what the biggest stars think about their biggest night? Award-winning TCM host and local resident Dave Carger has written an amazing book about 50 Oscar nights with reflections from the iconic stars and filmmakers on their career-defining wins. Let's find out more. Welcome to Desert Chat, Dave. Thanks so much, Sandy. It's great to see you. You are no, of course, uh, stranger to television. We all know you from Turner Movie Classics, of course. Yes fan of your work and really a big fan of this book which is a must have if you love movies, if you love the Oscars, it has all sorts of great information in it. Thank you so much. Yeah, I came up with this idea because I wanted to write a book about the Oscars that felt personal mm. and intimate and emotional. So I was lucky enough to get 50 Oscar winners like Meryl Streep and Nicole Kidman and Elton John and Julia Roberts to tell me about the day that they won and what it actually is like to win an Oscar. We all have it in our minds what it might be like. Sure. This really tells you the story and the stories are very different. 
Well, and that's what's so shocking about it to me is that, you know, some are so jubilant and just ecstatic and some not so much. No, <laughs> there were a lot of people that really surprised me. Jane Fonda, when she won her first Oscar for Clute in the early 1970s, she was feeling all this hostility from the mm. entertainment industry because of her political activism. And when she finally won, she then felt so guilty that she had an Oscar while her father, Henry Fonda, didn't have one at that point. Of course, he would win one a decade later, but she felt a lot of guilt. Many different stories from people in this book and I loved hearing them all. Well, and we love it too because, you know, it really is the super inside track that you have, which is so terrific because uh, we don't know a lot of these stories. As I said, we assume it's the best night of their lives. What um, has been the reaction from the stars who've been able to kind of see in print, oh my gosh, that was my experience. That's been one of the best parts is because <laughs> now I've bumped into a lot of them. Mm -hmm. Like we just had our TCM Film Festival and Keith Carradine was there, one of the nice. Oscar winners who I profiled in this book and I got to hand him a copy of the book Aww. and sign it for him and show him his chapter for the first time. Because the Oscars are so important to these winners, they mm. feel the mm. importance of it, the history of it, it's an honor for them. Mm -hmm. A lot of them have been so sweet and have said to me, thank you for putting me in your book. I'm honored to be in your book. Oh. And I say thank you for agreeing to take the time right? to be interviewed for my book. So it's been this lovely kind of symbiotic relationship, if you will. So nice. Well, well, thanks for stopping by. Sure. Thanks for putting together this book, which is a must read for all Oscar and movie fans. And maybe we'll have you come back for the Oscars 2025 and uh, we'll go through a few of these. I would love it. Great. Great thanks. to see you. Mm, so fabulous. Thank you so much, Dave. I love the book. It's really incredible. <laughs> well, now it's time for our weekly Spotlight 29 Desert Chat Entertainment Spotlight. Christopher Cross and Pablo Cruz are headed to the desert as well. Heat up your night with these two great performances. Friday, August 30th, showtime is 8 p.m. and tickets start at just $35. And Tom Segura, Come Together, is the best way to end your work week with Friday Night Laughter. Join him Friday, September 6th. Showtime is 8 p.m. and tickets start at $50. Don't forget about our 29 Rewards Loyalty Club. This card suits you. You can sign up for the all-new 29 Rewards Loyalty Club to revel in more promotions, more fun, and more rewards. Play with your card to earn points to use towards free play, dining, gifts, and so much more. And don't forget about our fabulous Tap Room 29 Prime Rib Special. Every Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday, you can savor every bite of Coachella's premium cut, complemented with a huge baked potato. Only at Spotlight 29 Casino can you experience this cut above the rest. Great stuff as always. Well, before we go, we want to share with you that the next time you see Desert Chat, it'll be season three. Can you believe it? We are so grateful to all of you who tune in every single week and support our little show. We're really excited for season three because we've got a lot of surprises. So make sure you don't miss our big debut of season three. And as always, we want to remind you that we love shining a light on all of the great people and businesses that make our valley so special and a place like no other. Thanks so much for joining us for seasons one and two. We're going to see you in season three. But first of all, remember, please help one another and be kind. For Desert Chat, I'm Sandy Newton. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in season three.